coffee, I love tea. I did not I know that song before this morning, eh? I had but not I do. heard it, but now we do. Yeah. We sing All right. along. We have a confession to make, too. The members of Good Day Atlanta, this team, we're in a long term relationship. With coffee, yeah, with yes, coffee, indeed. Yeah. But how much do you really know about the drink you're probably sipping on as we speak? Good day, Atlantis. Paul Milliken is live at East Pole Coffee in Atlanta this morning. Paul, turns out mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. goodness, you've already had way too much, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what? what? Yeah, yes, this is a, this is a normal report. Okay, here's how it all works. We got coffee beans and we got a roaster back here, and everybody drinks coffee, and we're really excited. Yeah. Can you tell that I've had just a few cups? By the way, everybody in the coffee bar just turned around and was like. Like, what is happening back there right now? So I <laughs> apologize kind of for interrupting your morning you. coffee, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're talking about East Pole Coffee Company. So this is a relatively new addition to the Atlanta coffee scene, but it's a really interesting addition to the coffee scene because this is not just a coffee bar, but it is a roastery, which means the folks here get in coffee from all over the world. And when it comes in, it comes in looking like this. The beans are actually green, which I didn't know. And then they get roasted in that big machine. That's when they turn turn brown and they get sent to places all over the country. We're talking about wholesale businesses, coffee shops, retail businesses, things like that. And what's really interesting when you're here at the coffee bar is that you can look back and see the process at work and also find out exactly where your coffee comes from. And in that way, they're treating coffee here kind of like a fine wine. It wakes you when you're tired and warms you when you're cold. But how well do you really know the drink you just can't live without? As you were saying earlier, Paul, coffee is always just kind of coffee. Yeah. Once upon a time, Jules Tompkins was that guy at the coffee shop. You know the one. Walked in, you know, chest puffed out. Hey, can you give me the largest cup of coffee that you've got and the darkest roast you've got? But that changed when the Atlanta native and his high school buddy, Jared Carr, realized that kind of like craft beer, coffee is a complex brew of art and science. Got on the phone one day and started dreaming up, hey, what would it look like to have a roastery in Atlanta? We bought our first roaster, took baby steps, and opened this place in September 2017. This place is East Pole Coffee Company. At its perfectly poured heart, the business is a wholesale roastery, which means the team here brings in green coffee beans from countries like Colombia and Rwanda, then roast them for just a few minutes in this massive machine. Bags of their roasted beans with names like the ATL-inspired traffic are then sold to businesses and coffee shops in several states. Founders say what sets East Pole in a unique direction is the way they treat coffee almost like a fine wine. We don't do actually any, any blends of coffee, um, so everything is a single origin. It's coming okay. typically from a single farm, at, at the very least a single region. We list every detail on our coffee bags down to the name of the head producer at the farm. And so from an idea brewed up by two local guys, the rest of us Java junkies get to fall in love all over again. This time in a relationship based not just on caffeination, but also appreciation. And I do love you, I do. Thank you, coffee, for adding so much to my life. I think you all probably feel the same way at home. So here's the thing, when you come to East Pole Coffee Company and you buy some of their coffee, like you saw in the piece, mm -hmm. you will know exactly where it came from, not just the country, but you know the region, you'll know the head producer who made it happen, and then you can actually start to decide where you like coffee from. So you may be a fan of coffees from South America, you may be a fan of coffees from Africa, and the best way to get to taste them all and really compare them is a process called coffee cupping. Now, I got to be honest with you, I have no idea what coffee cupping is. Mm -hmm. You probably don't either, but we're going to do it live on TV coming up in the next hour. So we're going to find out. I, I, if it has to do with coffee, I will like it. So right. I'm excited, but we'll see what it is. I got to be honest with you, Paul. I'm a little less concerned about where it came from as opposed to where it's going. And I hope <laughs> where it's going is to the break room here at Fox 5. The dirty little secret that people don't know is you never bring anything back. And the people, you always say, yeah, I'll bring that back. And, and hmm. Oh, come on.
newsroom full of coffee. The thing is, welcome. I would bring East Pole coffee back yeah. to all of you, but the problem isn't the coffee at our station. It's the machines that have been there since 1954 and not that cleaned is, since 1954. Neither you know, here nor there. We need to upgrade there, those first. Paul. Then we can talk we about We make it the old-fashioned way here. Right. Exactly. The way our grandparents we'll bring did. Bring us some yeah. good stuff. <laughs> we really do. All right, Paul. We thanks sure a do. lot. <laughs> East Pole Coffee Company is located at 255 Otley Drive, Suite 105 in Atlanta. Coffee Cupping which we're going to figure out what that is later, mm -hmm. I think. I'm They're offered to, to the public for free on Saturday mornings at 10, but limited to the first 15 people who show up. Coming up tomorrow morning, if you're having some trouble nailing it, see what we did there, a weekend event will help you turn your Pinterest fails into big successes. Paul will have a live preview of this year's Pinners Conference. Huh. I thought he was going to be you wrestling. Like I thought the Pinners no, Conference was a wrestling no, thing. No, he's making fancy oh. stuff that All we right. can't do. Well, good. He's not going to be wearing a singlet. <laughs> no, he won't. It's, it's all happening at the Cobb Galleria Center.